Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, uh, we're over here in Baraboo, uh, off of 4th Street. Uh, we got a Dodge Ram, the 20 inch rim here that we're going to be putting a tire on. Um, so, let's get to it. Let me uh, let the air out of this tire right quick. Oh, wow, you got that off fast. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let that go out. That's a big tire. You can see this is a chrome rim. It's got a hubcap on it. But whoever balanced the tire, they didn't know any better that you only have to balance one side of these tires. Uh, and they put these outer weights on it. And these weights are not supposed to be on with these types of rims. Um, <laughs> some guys at tire shops just don't know that. And uh, they actually have a machine that's set up where it measures from the outside of the tire to the inside width of the tire to balance it. Um, and it's been balanced improperly to begin with. But we'll balance it properly for them. Ooh, ow. Heavy duty here. There we go. All right. <sighs> Biggest rim size we can go up to and do is about 22, uh, according to my air bazooka. It says it'll do up to 22 inch rims. There we go. Put some gloves on here. <sighs> there we are. You made that look way too easy. What's that? You made that look way too easy. <laughs> Well, I have been using this machine for a while, so. <laughs> and like I said, you know, this same rim, I got five more of these same rims that look just like this at home. Well, because it's all we drive are these Dodge pickups. Okay. And uh, I get on Facebook Marketplace and I buy up the rims. That's these big 20-inch rims. Okay. Instead of me having to... Uh, uh, tires or buy new tires I go and I buy rims that already have good looking tires on them that's what you do it and then what I do is I take and uh, I take the tires off the rims and then I sell resell the rims back on it online that's okay. it's a good little side hustle <laughs> <Sometimes you gotta. laughs> Well, because I can buy four of these rims for about three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars. Yep. And you're not going to pay that with I'm saying with tires on the rims. Right. You know, and you're not going to get that with uh, um, you know, buying it all separate. You know, because just one of these rims are like two hundred and seventy five dollars a piece. You know, at the junkyard, they're not cheap. Yeah, this truck, I have the Daytona rims on it. From the, uh, it's from the 2005 truck. It came off of a, one of them orange Daytonas with the black striping. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's why it has the black on the sides and the black center caps. Yeah, that tire's pretty warm. Right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got five more of these same rims at the house. There we go. All right. Uh. <clears throat> Takes Walmart an hour to an hour and a half to do four tires with a tire machine that's electric. I can change four tires with this at the same speed. <laughs> kind of crazy. You're the owner of the truck? Yeah. All right, so just so you know, you'll have to keep this. <laughs> but these rims that have these uh, plastic covers on them, they're not supposed to have weights on this side of the rim. I, ain't, I don't care. No, I'm just letting you know. know. Yeah, so if you ever have like Walmart put one, you know, put a tire on and they put a weight on this side, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, and it looks it looks like crap. Yeah, I I'll, think. Never, I'll never have one of touch my shit. Almost I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I usually just do everything myself. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I hear you. Let me uh, pull these weights off here. I'm gonna get a bike first. I don't know. I hate that. Yeah. I've owned them all. Chevy, Dodge, Ford, That's Nissan, cool. Toyota. Always I own these ones because they got 5.7s. 5.7 Hemi's that can use the motor. Oh, yeah. These trucks are affordable to drive, and they're the newest kind of, you know, new, the newest trucks that we can afford to drive, you know. Yeah. For I right buy, now. I buy three Dodge and the price of one Chevy. Yeah. Exactly. 20? That's a 20 down there? Bullshit. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's the last one. Okay, I'll take that tire now. We got another weight here. Oh, it's not even a All right. I'd say there's a brand new tire. I'll probably drop that bitch, too. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get another tire. I thought I had two of them. My other ones are all fucking 35s and fucking big. They go on that truck. My Mega Cab. Uh, oh, the one in front of this one and behind this one? No, that one. Oh, the black one over there? Yeah. Looks like you're like me, you know? You could, you drive what you can afford to drive. <laughs> well, I could, I, I could afford to drive a lot more. I just spend my money on other shit. I got to try to drop 44 grand on a Harley. Brand new. Yeah, I hear you. I got another, and then I got to stick another six grand in my other Harley. Yeah, I got a few bikes that I gotta, I gotta put tires on and stuff like that. Do uh, tune-ups, oil changes, stuff like that before summer gets here, you know, or before spring. I just, I just dropped a bunch of bags. I picked up my bike and fucking microphone. <laughs> Come on. 
There we go. There we go. No more. gloves on for this next one. All right. 20 inch tire going on the rim. Okay. Big tire requires a big bar. There we are. All right, now we just, uh, Got to pop it on the bead. That's going to be a trick. That's going to be a trick. All right, let me hook my air hose up here. This we are gonna need to beat bazooka. You can see how much gap is in there. We'll let that build up some pressure. Hopefully it won't take much to pop this on this bead. Let's see if we're at for air pressure. Almost at 60. We have to go well over 60 PSI for this one. Don't know, I may have to shoot it a couple times to get it to pop up on the bead. Get her soaked down though. There we go. We gotta go up pretty high with the PSI on this one. But it takes a little bit to reach the PSI. We're almost at 80 right now. I think that's what it says. Yeah, we're almost at 80. If 
it might take all three of us to pop this on here. Well, we're going to have to have two people hold up on the tire and one person work this big gun. You're the only one that's going to do that. Oh, it's easy. You just pull the trigger. You just point this into the rim and squeeze the trigger. That's it. It doesn't have no kick or nothing. It's just air. It's like shooting a potato gun. <laughs> Let me go grab this one. to get this on the first shot. Just a little, we're about 82 pounds of PS, or pressure, pounds of pressure. Something like that, about 82. Roll that over that way. It's not pinching my hose. I want to get at least up to 100 PSI. Man, this road's full of Dodge pickup trucks. I see one, two, three, four, five, six in mine. Looks like all we're going to get is about 90 PSI out of it. I do have a leak right here. There we go. Yep. Tires getting cold. I'm going to shut off my air compressor until they come back out. I need my air compressor to burn up because uh, I was waiting on people. why we like it when the customer stays outside and doesn't go in the house. Okay. Sorry, he's got a one-year-old in there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs>
I thought he just went in to watch TV. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just joking around. <laughs> but I did, I did pump some air into it. I got the bottom of the seat just a little bit. Okay. Uh, so this is gonna, it's gonna. I, I believe it's gonna pop. We got about 90 psi in here. In here. Well, we're losing psi, so we got to be quicker. There he is. All right. We can my So you're going to put a hand right here and right here and just raise that up to the to the edge of the bottom of the bead right here. Oop, oop, oop. Come stand over here a little bit more. Get on the platform. There you go. And then kind of just put your hands like this and just kind of hold up. Yep. You're just going to hold up just a little bit like that. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's fine. All right. So you're going to pick that up. Okay. And blow that bitch. <laughs> yep. I'm going to turn it in your hand here. Yep, there you go. You're going to put it just like that. Okay. And then when I tell you, you're going to squeeze that handle, okay? Know this, you're going to hit this little button right here. Okay. When I tell you. Here, hold this handle right here. There you go. Okay. Ready? When I count to when I say three, you're going to hit that button, okay? But hold it. Do I just hit it? You just hold it. Okay. Okay. Remember, you gotta pull. You gotta when when that when you hit it, pull back right away. Huh? Pull back on this right. Didn't tell me that. I know. I forgot. That was my fault. <laughs> you want to do? You want to do this? I <laughs> know, uh, because it takes it takes some strength to pull up on the tire. <laughs> you know. We gotta build up some pressure in here right quick. Here, let's lean forward so we can see what the pressure is at. Well, we gotta wait till that gets all the way up to about 80. 60 to 80. This is what I was worried about was popping it on the bead with these big 20s, you know. You look a little bit. Well, it's better to do this in a garage when it comes to these bigger tires like this. Sounded like if we don't pull up too hard on it, the bottom should stay seated. Yeah. We need a little bit more than that. Yeah. Pull it away. Yeah. If you hold it, just tie the ship with the turn the name. <laughs> You're okay. Last time I did this was with a 19. The biggest I've done is a 19. It was pretty cold out that day, and I had to do this three times before it finally popped and seated up on the beat a little bit. Enough to where we could, you know, yeah. almost up to 100 PSI, but then I was waiting and it slowly lets out and waiting, you know. Okay. Okay, you 
Angle up on that side. All right, ready? One, two, five. Uh, angle that down in there a little bit more. Yep, okay, angle this down. One more, all right. Angle your hand down. You want it so it goes in. Yep, you want it so it goes in the rail. Okay. okay. Ready? One, two, oh. go. That wasn't good. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Okay, just try it again. A ratchet strap break. I don't have a ratchet strap. I do. I do. I don't like doing that because the ratchet strap comes loose and it hits you. You know what I mean? What? Fuck my one. I'm good. That's by me. Hit me, hit me. That's that's if we can get it to seat up, you know. Yeah, as long as it doesn't blow in, it blows out, be right? Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. That's that's what I was wor I'm worried about, you know. And with this one? Oh, that might actually be that might go up. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I said. It's, it's it's not cold cold, but it, it's cooled down since we've tried this. This is the hardest thing to do with these 20s is to get them to pop up on one of the two sides. everybody. <laughs> Alright, hold on a moment. Yeah, because we gotta we're gonna have to pull it up too. There you go. Go ahead and ratchet. Oh, fuck, that ratchet. You want me to get a different one? Oh, I got it. You want a different one? There's one under my back seat. Not strong enough? I got one. Gotcha. Down, hopefully, we get some better air in it this time. Uh, I don't care yet. 
Oh, there you go. There's your big ratchet truck. Yeah, it's rusted. Go ahead and wrap it around. As long as it ratchets, it should work. It does. That's a WD-40 right there behind my seat. Oh, there you go. Now you got it going. Yeah, you got it going. Yeah, Just for that glue a little bit. Yeah. Ah, uh, we'll be all right. If I towed a truck out of the fucking farm with that, you can see the truck. It's been there a long time, it looks like. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> oh, you're tight over here. Yeah, hold it there we go. You're in the middle of the tire on that side, though. Careful. 
There was, that was only one side of it. Yep. Pull off on the tire. There we go. Yeah. Looks good. Got a mallet? She should pop right on, huh? Yeah, now it should go. The only spot that's not on the bottom. How about the, the bottom is there's only one spot right over here. Okay. Same as the right here. Can, can we soap it? What your pressure at? Uh, what is it called for? Is it 55? Uh, 44. Is that what you want in it? Yeah, why not? All right. Uh, 20s take some work to put on. Now you know why I told her, whoa, oh, oh, no, not tonight. <laughs> Last night when it was almost midnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason, you know, is... I, I don't mind putting on tires, but this big, anything over a 17 in the dark, I even though we have street lights and stuff like that, you know, and over there it was really lit last night, you know, we could have definitely done it, but it was just too cold out, you know. Right now, it's like, what, 35, almost oh, 40 man, degrees? 40 Is it 40 something? 45. I don't know, to me, I'm, I'm kind of hot and sweaty, so it kind of... You know, I feel the cool breeze. <laughs> yeah, it took about almost 40 minutes to do one tire. That's the longest it's taken me to do one tire before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I tell people that the highest I'll do is a 22. You know, shops out there that can't even put this big of a tire on this big of a rim. I can officially say that a 20 is the biggest I've done on this machine here. Uh, they're fun. Yeah. The biggest tire I've ever changed was a 26, but I, it was in a shop that I worked in.
All right, there we go, 44. We're gonna put the cap back on. Say, DS Walton, we will catch you guys in the next one. We're gonna balance the sire.